Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tabby. Today I'm doing a video on the comparison between the Speedy 30 and the Speedy 25. This was a requested video from one of my subscribers and um, she's in the market for, she's pretty much the same height as me, 5'2", and she's in the market for a 25 or a 30. And so she wanted it to be able to be a daily purse and then also a travel bag. So I really like both these bags um, and there is a preference for what bag I use more. So this is my Speedy 30 in monogram and they're both Speedy B's, so bandoliers and it has a strap like this. And this is my Speedy 25 Emprunt in, what color is it in? Infinity, which is the blue black. And again, it's a Speedy bandolier with the strap. So yes, uh, this was my first bag, my very first Louis Vuitton bag. And I bought it, I think it's well over four years ago. And it's funny the story behind it. And I'll do it on another video. But anyways, I got this bag especially because as my first bag, you know, Speedy, you know, people will say, oh, Speedies are everywhere. And to me, there's a reason for it. There's a reason because it's a classic piece. And, you know, what I really liked about it was Audrey Hepburn carried it. And so she didn't have the bandolier, but honestly, I needed to have the bandolier just because I'm super active with my kids, I'm super active when I'm just going out and doing shopping, so I want to have the option of having the strap on on my side or just doing a crossbody, and that's usually how I carry it. So soon I'll do mod shots of the both of them, but for as far as the comparison goes, I will compare them mostly on size, but also I'll kind of dabble into like the types of leathers and canvas and which one. Um, a little co short comparison on that. I don't want this video to be too long, but it probably will be because I want it to be detailed and I want it to be helpful to, helpful to those that are shopping for either a Speedy 30 or a Speedy 25 or also whether they want to get canvas or um, all leather, the Emprunt leather. So this purse is four and a half years old and then this purse I have a full review on it in my channel so I can link them the, below. I don't have too many videos so you can scroll down as well but I'll have that and it's a detailed review and this is actually my favorite purse. So this one I got in September, oh, excuse me, I got it in August for my birthday. So this is just under a year, about I think 10 months old. Okay, probably nine months old. No, 10 months. And then this was four and a half. So as far as the, the sizes go, you can see, and they're, this one is stuffed, and then this one has this one has all my things in it right now. As you can see, it's probably bulging out. And then this has um, some stuffing in it. But I wanted you to see what it looked like full. Ugh. I'm not liking the way the shape is coming out. Okay, so this is them next to each other. As you can see, they are quite different in their sizes. This is a lot bigger and honestly it can carry a lot more as well. So this is what it looks like in the front. So this is what it looks like on the side. And excuse the dirty hardware, I need to watch. I need to clean that up. And then so as you can see, they are quite different in size. And then again, like this the other side, like that. And then if you wanna see underneath the comparison, again, here's the comparison underneath. So quite a big difference. So really, if you're shopping for the bag, I guess really the question is, how tall are you? Uh, what do you feel comfortable with? How much do you carry? Um, you know, what do you want to use it for? Do you want to use it for every day and travel? Or do you want to just mostly use it for travel? And everyone's different. So as far as like, 
I was telling one of my subscribers that I personally, I'm 5'2", so for me, if I could choose one size, it would definitely be the 25, just because, as you'll see soon, it matches my frame, and even with how much I carry, it still fits quite a bit. So this is a great daily purse for me. And then the 30 is a great size as well, and a lot of people love it, you know, um, and I love it too, but as you can see with it on, you'll see that it's quite, it doesn't suit me as well as the 25. So daily purse, I definitely recommend the 25 for the 5'2 frame. And again, I just think that for daily, you can carry quite a bit in there, and I'll show you as well. Um, and if I were to travel, I would definitely carry, and I want to travel on the airplane and have like a daily purse with me, I would recommend that this could handle, this would do better as a traveling bag, just because you can put quite a bit more water bottle, which you can in here as well. And so, there's more, like when I travel, I want a scarf, I want, um, you know, a magazine, I want my iPad, I want a ton of things in it. So I definitely would say that this is great for daily, but also really good for travel as well. So that's the comparison for that. Uh, again, I would definitely choose the 25 for me, but don't get me wrong, you can't go wrong with the 30. So that is the comparison with these two as far as like daily function. And then let's get into what it can carry. And as far as the monogram or the leather goes and the monogram, this is a lot lighter, of course, because this is all leather. So whether you're trying to buy a canvas or a leather, that's definitely based on price. Also, um, this is a lot more expensive than the canvas. I would say that also I think that the look is more luxury on this, but I feel like this is more classic. And then as far as another good thing about the Empreinte leather is that the zipper goes all the way down to the side, so it opens wider and again for these Speedy, it only opens, the zipper only goes across. So, you know, the opening's not as wide. But yes, I would say that if you could, get both. But honestly, it really is what you're looking for, what you want, and both are great for daily. They're both, this, the canvas is easy to wipe, um, and some people need to be more cautious, um, want to be more cautious on the, the leather. Um, and then this room, really, you can just wipe it off and not, be too cautious. Of course you want to go in the pouring rain or the snow. Okay, so let's get into what's inside. And this is not a what's inside, uh, what's in my purse video. I have another video on that and that was like the mommy's edition so there's a lot in there. I'm going to do a small purse, um, like more daily video on what's in my bag. But anyways, I added more things in here and stuffed it because I want you to see how much can fit in here and then how much can um, fit in here as well. Okay, and I love how smooth the zipper is, that, that noise. Okay, so as you can see, this purse is quite full. And again, the opening is like this. So, let me get everything out. Okay, I'll just go really quick. I have my um, organizer, my purse organizer, my little thing of everything in there, wallet, key clay, my mini pochette, iPad, and also my Chanel card case holder, and then a plastic bag. Okay, so now the bag is empty, as you can see. And it's very, very roomy. Quite roomy. And then this is my base shape from the bottom, if you can see. But yes, quite roomy. Uh, I would say that... So remember, this is the Emperor leather, so the opening goes a lot wider. And let me take everything out in here. 
the opening is a lot wider because the zipper goes down so if you are trying to compare it to just like a regular 25 remember the zipper only goes from here to here so again it's only gonna open like like that not like this how see how wide that opens and that's another plus for this this bag it opens up really wide okay so I'm gonna put my see this is the Midori Travelers um, organizer it's called the Midori Travelers notebook you know and I'll, anyways we'll go into that in another video but see as you can see it's quite it's the size of the opening of the 25 again remember the zipper only goes there in a monogram so I would say that you would have a hard time pushing it in as far as the 30 goes no problem just straight in but it's kind of tight so for a 25 I would definitely say that um, you have to go in like this and then go down so put that in the bottom and then my purse organizer, I just switch it out with all my, purse, my purses so it's an easy tra transition. Okay, and then my multicolor wallet. See, it's already getting tight. And again, remember, it's, it can go straight in, but it's gonna, so yeah. It's getting quite full in there. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, it's quite full already. So the 25 doesn't carry as much, but what I'm gonna do is I don't carry my organizer around everywhere unless it's, I carry a big bag and I have meetings or something. So I'm gonna take this out. Okay. And I'm gonna put my wallet in. I'm gonna, again, I always carry this with my receipts and uh, feminine products. I'm gonna put that in as well. My little, like, bag of everything. Key clay, that can just go in one of the little side pockets. Card case folder. Again, I'll put that in one of the side pockets. And then iPad, mini iPad, so you can definitely, it can fit in very nicely. And it is tight, guys. It is pretty tight. But as you can see, it is full to the top, and we're okay. So it really can, and you can probably fit, ooh. I'm gonna say you could probably fit a, a thin scarf in there, um, but again, we're not gonna be able to fit this huge organizer in there. There's no room. So you do have a little space on the top. So yes, you can see that the 30 can fit like this much more, and then maybe like a scarf or something, and quite a bit more. It really depends on the shape of your items and how you pack. I'm not necessarily the best packer in the world and I don't have like all the little small things to like put them in order, but I would like to. So again, I'm playing with how I do things. So, okay, so I am, that is a comparison of what it can fit. I'm trying to see what else I can talk to you guys about. So, yes, so both of them, Great items. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do some modeling poses. For reference, I am 5'2", I am 120, yes, I am 120 pounds, and yes, that's my frame, so I shall model these for you right now. I'll be right back. Okay, so first I have the Speedy 25, and this is what it looks like, what's it called, on my shoulder, like this, and on the other side, I have the Speedy 30. Again, speedy 25, sideways, and behind, crossbody, this is what it looks like. So cross 
cloudy. As you can see, the 25, I would say, fits my frame a lot better. What do you think? So yeah, cross body. And then, I'm like a mad woman, changing bags. And then cross body again for the Speedy 30. So it looks nice, but quite big, right? Uh, wouldn't you say? But I think it looks good still. And then both of them go on an adventure. <laughs> Both of them. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. There is an option of wearing them. You can adjust the straps for the bandolier and then wear them like a, a shorter shoulder bag. But if you look in my Speedy B Emperor review, you'll be able to see that. I don't want to get this video too long. But lastly, I want to show you what they look like on my arms. So, like this. Oh, and another comparison between the 25 and the 30 is the straps are very different, or shorter, excuse me. See how much longer this is? See the difference? But you can still very comfortably wear the Speedy 25 like this. Speedy 30, like that. And even like this on your hand. So yes, this is my comparison between the two. Speedy 25, Speedy 30. To be honest, it really is your preference, and you can't go wrong with any, I would say. So, for me, daily bag for this, maybe like doing like, it could be daily and also great for travel. So, either way, I highly recommend both. Thank you so much for watching, and also, um, that completes my Speedy 25, Speedy 30 review. However, I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day, and if you don't like that, definitely you don't have to watch it. So I'll do a quick outfit of the day. Whew. I almost get sweaty. Okay, so as far as my makeup goes, same makeup as usual, except for I have a little highlighting on my um, for eyeshadow. And then I'm wearing my Clinique Lip Pop in Passion Pop. Hair straight, and no necklace today. And then I'm wearing some gold Tory Burch earrings. Had these for about two years. Like them a lot. And then as far as jewelry goes, I'm wearing my Michael Kors watch. And then this like studded costume, um, like spike gold bracelet. And I'm not sure where I got this from. I think I got it from my local boutique. And again, my same Tiffany & Co. Infinity Bracelet. Same ring as always. My nails are OPI. To tell you the truth, I'm bad. I didn't look up what they're called. And I hope that's focusing. And then I have this jean denim, like, what's it called? Is this chambray? I don't know. But anyways, button up shirt. And I got this from Nordstrom and it's halogen. And then my pants are high-waisted Topshop distressed jeans. I really like these a lot. And I just bought them recently, so they still have them. And then my shoes are red halogen pumps. And I bought these around Christmas time. I really like them. They're really pretty. Oh, they're not halogen, excuse me. They're this brand, Troth. I don't know what that brand is. I think it's the Nordstrom something, but cute shoes. So anyways, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Don't forget to like and comment. And if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.